it's somehow way more boring and way weirder than I imagined. It's crazy to picture Rachel growing up here and being happy here, at least before she met me. And now I'm taking her away. <laughs> or is she taking me away? This doesn't really seem like the kind of place people run away from. <laughs> what am I saying? Fuck this place. I bet there's, like, not even a single Cheeto stuck in this thing. Doing the play was bad enough without having to read about it afterwards. Hope Drew's okay, though. How to clear browser history, followed by a gap for all of yesterday. That's like cheating asshat 101. Poor Rachel. They say all news is local, but damn. Guess some families actually go to Paris instead of just talk about it their whole lives. Holy shit. That's the guy who attacked Drew, and I'm holding on to a grand of his money. Rachel and I couldn't be leaving town soon enough. Easy to see who wears the literary pants around here. Something about this photo doesn't seem right. I should fix it. Can't tag this while well, Rachel's mom is right there. She totally bust me. Hi, Rose. Your husband's cheating on you. Pass the ketchup. If I open this, will skeletons come spilling out? No skeletons. Lots of shiny dishes, though. I wonder if this will be the most expensive thing I've ever eaten off of. Oh, so clean. I bet Rose would kill it with my mom at the diner. Rachel and I both had great childhoods. 
Mine just ended a little before hers, I guess. What the Amber family considers entertainment looks a lot like what I consider homework. Your daughter's pretty great. Thank you. We're fond of her as well. You ever feel like she's so awesome at everything that you just want to shake her? Yeah. Uh, uh, me neither. You think? I thought Rachel was perfectly cast. She certainly was. We're very proud of her. I had no idea they were going to do that. Do what? I don't know the name for it. Uh, reverse casting? Casting a, a woman as a man? Oh, I just meant the wizard part. Ah, uh, I suppose that's also true. So... You're a district attorney, huh? I'm your district attorney. So I can call you if I'm ever district arrested? <laughs> what would you be arrested for? It was a joke.
Time to set the table, I guess. Hi, Rose. Your husband's cheating on you. Pass the ketchup. Hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. Integrity, honesty, loyalty. What? It's on your lawn. Oh, right. Sorry. I guess I'm still getting used to being an elected official's wife. Those are some strong words. You think he lives up to them? He's fantastic at what he does. Of course, he's only human. Or subhuman. What? What? I, I thought you said something. Uh, nope. So, you putting me to work, or what? Yes. If you could please take four plates from the cupboard and set them on the table. Uh, what if I can't? Excuse me? You said if I could. Never mind. You're a riot, Chloe. All right, Chloe. You've set the table without ruining someone's marriage before. Can't tag this while Rachel's mom is right there. She totally bust me. <laughs> Rachel really was an overachiever before she met me. Glad I nipped that in the bud. I wonder if this will be the most expensive thing I've ever eaten off of. <laughs> Besides my computer. Of course. It's off to the table with you. Yes, Chloe? So, uh, Rachel was pretty awesome tonight. She sure was. And I imagine whatever trick the two of you pulled to get her back on stage was even more dramatic than the play. We can be very persuasive together. Persuasive. Yes, that's a word for it. I get the sense that you're a force of nature yourself. I can see why the two of you get along so well. You can? Because it still seems crazy to me. Uh, what did you think of the play? Rachel was typically amazing, but 